Back here in the U.S., the war in the Middle East is unavoidably a factor in the presidential election. We get more now from CBS's Nancy Cordes. Former President Trump marked October 7th at a gravesite in Queens, New York, while in Washington, Vice President Harris planted a pomegranate tree, a symbol of hope in the Jewish faith. It will remind us all not to abandon the goal of peace, dignity, and security for all. But even on this solemn day, the campaigning crept in, Trump insisting on a radio show that if he had been president last October, he somehow could have prevented the surprise massacre. It would never have happened, guaranteed. Even Democrats admit it. I saw some congressmen the other day said that wouldn't have happened. Harris is in the middle of a media blitz with appearances on The View, The Howard Stern Show and The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, all slated to air in the next 36 hours. How are you going to get this through Congress? In an interview for 60 Minutes, airing tonight, Harris was pressed on the cost of her plans, which include a $50,000 tax break for startups. Small businesses are part of the backbone of America's economy. But, but pardon me, Madam Vice President, I, the, the question was, how are you going to pay for it? Well, one of the things is I'm going to make sure that the richest among us who can afford it pay their fair share in taxes. 60 Minutes was planning to interview Trump as well, but he backed out last week. A new analysis from the Nonpartisan Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget finds that both candidates' plans would add to the debt, though Trump's could cost twice as much, thanks in part to his proposed tariffs on foreign goods. Just go out and vote. Get everybody and vote. At a rally in Wisconsin last night, he suggested that his supporters might hurt any Harris backers in their midst. Is there anybody here that's going to vote for Lion Kamala? Don't raise your hand. It would be very dangerous. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. A short time ago, Harris called Trump out, not for those comments, but for spreading misinformation about the response to Hurricane Helene. According to a CBS News count, Trump has falsely claimed at least 15 times now that FEMA is either ignoring victims or diverting funds elsewhere. Nora. Nancy Cordes, thank you. And looking forward to tonight's 60 Minutes to see more. Thank you.